Coming up on Around Kern County, American Airlines mainline flights are now available to travelers at Meadowsfield Airport. We'll tell you what this means for your next trip. And Behavioral Health and the Library are partnering for a series of special events, how they're working to raise awareness about mental health and recovery when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Meadowsfield Airport is celebrating a new service for local passengers. American Airlines is now offering mainline flights out of BFL to Dallas Fort Worth. These larger aircrafts have upsized their morning and midday flights from a CRJ 900 to an Airbus 319. This will increase comfort for local travelers, including first class seating with added amenities. Each flight will provide an additional 50 seats for passengers, increasing Meadowsfield's departing seats by 3,000 seats per month. We want Meadowsfield to be the first choice for travelers to all parts of this country and the world. And managing this gateway starts and ends with a premium passenger experience for everyone using the airport. An airport experience with contemporary aesthetic and amenities that is enjoyable, easy to navigate, and safe. This premium travel experience is also made possible by our commercial airline partners, such as American Airlines. This upgraded service has also bolstered our local job opportunity for residents at one of the largest companies in the world. To book your next flight, please visit meadowsfield.com. Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, as well as the library, are partnering to help residents care for their mental health. Right now, through the end of the year, they're hosting a series of traveling art shows at our dozens of local library branches. This program is in partnership with artists from Creative Crossings who have painted pieces to provoke self-reflection and focus on hope and recovery. BHRS has designed these events to raise awareness about addiction and suicide prevention, as well as recovery, letting people know that it is possible. We hope that when you look at these pieces, it just serves as a, as a reminder that if you or a loved one are struggling with mental health, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline 988 is available. Share this powerful resources because now it is just three numbers. The library says there are no better places to host these displays than at our local library branches because they're safe spaces for our community to reflect and learn. The library is a, is a safe space. It's always been known as that and I think that the topic of um, suicide prevention and mental health is a, is a deep topic and the library is a good space to feel comfortable to talk about those things. We've created programming for families and children, um, art, art uh, crafts that they could do together just to, you know, if they're not, you know, if they need to discuss their feelings, they can start those conversations. Same with teen programming, same thing. I just think it's a safe space where they can do that. We've um, made it a goal to be all around Kern County, so um, if it's not directly local to you, it should be in a driving distance, and um, we hope you enjoy it. If you'd like to attend one of these events, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. Kern County Public Works wants to help you prepare for the holidays. They're hosting some upcoming bulky waste collection events to help you get rid of unwanted household bulky items such as appliances, mattresses, and barbecue grills. The first series of events will be held Saturday, October 8th from 8 in the morning until 12 noon at the Roberts Lane Yard, Kern Medical, and the Kern County Fairgrounds. They're also hosting an event on Saturday, October 15th from 8 in the morning until 12 noon in Shafter at the County Administrative Building. For more information about these events and what items are considered bulky waste, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And we're ending today with Kern County leaders coming to an area near you. They've been visiting unincorporated areas throughout our community 
to host educational workshops about Measure K. Measure K is Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure. If enacted, it would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern County only to address community priorities, such as public safety, homelessness, attracting jobs and industries, and addressing mental health and addiction challenges. Unincorporated residents will consider Measure K on the November 8, 2022 ballot. Here's how you could get involved. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Johnny Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan will be in Inyo Kern on Wednesday, October 12th, as well as will be online hosting two virtual meetings. You can log on Monday, October 17th from 12 to 1 and Tuesday, October 18th from 6 to 7 in the evening. For more information about how to join these meetings, as well as Measure K in general, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.